I screamed. Anyway, for the video, they had this guy, like, they actually put a tick on this guy, and they showed, like, how it worked. And I said, who volunteered for that? Because it wouldn't have been me. We would have been showing a, a cartoon. Why would they do that? I don't know, but this guy's skin was on here like this. And I saw his hairs doing this. And I said, who volunteered to get to get their skin just... They must want to be paying them a lot of money. Oh my god, I screamed. And he had like, the thing, had, the tick had like hair on it. And I screamed. Like bugs are so gross to me. Like just in general. I've been watching like, like dust mites. I've been watching a lot of videos. About like household things that we just have in our household. And I knew this, but I didn't know like the science behind it. I knew that, did you know that dust was our skin? But like it didn't even make sense to me that how dust could be possibly be skin. Oh. What they said in the comments? No more nasty stuff during these videos. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Hey y'all. Now anyway. What's up my lovelies? You guys, today we're eating pot pies again. And the only reason why we're doing it again because I told you guys I was going to come back with the 10 piece family challenge. That I was going to eat the 10 pieces of uh, chicken plus the two sides. I'm not going to touch them biscuits y'all because I already know I couldn't, can't do it with the biscuits. But we're going to say great. I'm just trying to get you to get there. We're going to say grace. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was very rude. I'm just saying. Well. So. Mmm. Got yeah, my honey. I hope this goes off well, y'all, because. I got the honey on deck. I guess I'll do it by. uh, And I got the hot sauce, y'all, so. We're going to see how this works. We're going to work it out, though. Ooh. But y'all, honey, the honey and the, um, honey and the, um, hot sauce is really good, y'all. I really like it. I like that sweet. Oh. Sweet slash. There's, have you tried, you never tried that. Not nah, hot sauce and honey, but honey and chicken, yeah. Mm. You mean sweet and savory. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I made my hot sauce hot. As y'all can see, we're hungry. Mm -hmm. There is one of the um, wing stock when he changed his mind. do this chicken y'all all day that's one thing about me and chicken we go way back who is hot tastes hot about like the potato but I like KFC coleslaw. I think any potato is better. How's the black and chicken? Mm -hmm. Black and ranch? Oh. Hold oh. on. Mom, this is what I got. Because I knew they were going to be gone quick. Mm. Mm. Where you fry? Mm. Mm. I love ranch. 
Ciao. I like myself drown, y'all. Mmm, hot. I made my hot sauce hot. Let me tell some dairy didn't say anything the whole time. Mm-hmm. I don't have no dairy time. It's our first meal, y'all. So we hungry. But it surely is good. In the neighborhood. I don't have peppers. Mm -hmm. Some with peppers I like better than others. You like Popeye? I think I do. I don't know. I think I like um churches. It's a church. It probably is churches. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. There is always jump. I feel. I hear his body jump. Every time I burp. burp. Oh, that was a lot of good meat. Hmm? That was a lot of white meat. I know. That's why you like them? Hmm? That's why you like them? Yeah. Yep, I eat my end pizza. Yes. Hmm? You know all the pieces of the uh, chicken? No. Oh, yeah.
You ain't trying to learn it. No. Mm. You, um, you probably know it's the breast. I can't tell the difference between the breast and the thigh. So easy. When it's breaded, I just can't. I don't know. The breast is bigger. Oh. And it has a distinctive shape to it. Different than the thigh. Mm -hmm. I've got fries. My side. Mm -hmm. Y'all use my own hot sauce. I'm making my hot sauce. I got a video on how to make it. I don't know. This one needs shaking up. Mm -hmm. I just made it. I ain't got time to settle in yet. But I needed it. So I'm gonna shake it up later. It's gonna it's gonna start to come together. Mm. This time I added some of that Tabasco Sriracha sauce. Like Eating is a gross action if you think about it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ain't nothing cute about yours too, either? I said eating, not your eating. Mm. Eating, period? Mm hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. We're mashing up stuff in our mouth. Mm hmm. What? What? It's going down our throats. I guess cute when we're looking at it. Mm -hmm. But it's getting smashed up. And it's slop going down our throat. There it is. Hmm? I'm gonna hit it. I'm just saying. While well, I'm smashing it up. Chicken like that. Why? Because all this bones and stuff are doing that. And you're just eating around it. Mm hmm. It's too real. Too risky? No, it's just too real. I don't know what's mean. It's too like. I feel like you just went in the backyard and hacked the chicken. And now you're eating it. Mine is more like, I went through a process. I'm eating the chicken, but. What process you go through? That I didn't go through. Chicken is chicken. They, they fillet the meat off the bone. Uh-uh. Yes, they did. They fillet the meat. Because you eat chicken tenders? They put a nice cracker thin crust. Oh, well, they do my chicken. Put it on the body. They take the, the chicken. They throw it in the the um, the breader. The whole chicken, and then they cut it up after. That's true. You worked at Popeye before? Mm-hmm. 
That's what they did the one I worked at. You ain't working no pop pop. Huh. Why'd you act like I was being serious? Hmm. Huh. Any of your friends work at fast food restaurant? No. Stephanie used to work at um Cousin Subs. You like it? I don't know. I'm oh, saying that no more. No. Apparently she didn't like it. Or oh, they didn't like her. No. She got a job at Target. She quit? Yeah. Mm. They have better pay. Mm. She still at Target? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Melissa, the show. Mm. For now. Huh? For now. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh my goodness. <coughs> See, for now. <coughs> At least he's like it. He like it for the perks, don't he? I don't know why he likes it. Huh? I'm looking at your nails. Mm. The underside of them. Is it like... What happened you not wanting nails? You said, oh, I'm not gonna get nails. Not till your day upgraded my room. Huh? Oh. That's what made me get them done. I don't know why, that would've gotten them done. Mom, did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Not on my watch. The rib cage is broke open. I know. You ain't never heard that sound? I was you on each other. I feel like you're a caveman. Like you just broke the chicken's ribs. Yeah. Hmm. Don't get you. Like I feel like you're a, a beast. Like a. Like I feel like we're having a wild. You over here sucking the meat off the bones. <clears throat> Did you know that ticks go on humans too? What? Ticks. They grow. They go on humans too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I didn't know that. I thought they were only for animals. Like why do they target Dogs. Mm -hmm. Cause they know we're not the ones. They probably know we're not the ones. We got hair. No, but I don't think ticks are attracted to hair, are they? They have to they be. They just want blood. Ew, I heard you swallow. It's a lot. <clears throat> you a trap. Mm. You don't watch ASMR video. No, I don't. Unless they whisper. I don't watch whisper ASMR. Don't even put that out in the universe. Like I just watch whisper ASMR. I have before. Who is that? Whisper. Like. Her name is Whisper ASMR. No, I'm just oh. talking about whisper. It like when they just don't eat and they're like every, other, right. I'm saying every other form of ASMR, like the doctor visits or like the ear checkup. Oh. Or the doctor exams. Why do that? Mm. -hmm. It's a sense of being taken care of. I guess. No. No. Oh. Is that Ooh. hard? Like, are you? This is a challenge now. Are you? Or are I'm you? I'm not full. Oh. That's what you're asking. Yeah. Mm -mm. So you'd be fine eating all mm -hmm. this. Okay, I'll be letting everyone know. Not the biscuit. You were supposed to eat the biscuits. Mm-hmm. 
You just eat a ten piece family meal? Mm hmm You have to eat the the coleslaw and the Mm-hmm. No. <clears throat> no. The I don't know how you ate the ten piece chicken. That's easy. The family meal. That's easy. Have you ever like eaten like a lot of food and then said like all of that is in me? Like all of it. Uh-uh. Like it's all in you now. Like it's all in like it's all in Have you ever did it? No. No. I haven't um I have never eaten. Have you ever got stuck when you had remember you ate that whole pizza? And you was like, oh, oh remember didn't you eat two pieces before? No. Crazy? Never eaten two pieces. A piece of half. Remember you I would never bake I would never bake two pizzas because I know we'll be able to finish them. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I've never eaten two pizzas before. You eating a whole pizza? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's get it straight, it wasn't a you know it was a frozen pizza, but not like a party size, family size pizza from But I'm Oh my god, I'd scream. You have gotten real full before. Yeah, I have. But it's different when like you finish your food. So like let's say if it was like two pizzas and I ate all of them, I'd scream because it's like all of those two pizzas are inside Ooh. of me right now. My stomach. Food coming out of my mouth? What's new? Oh my God. What do you mean woo? Food is coming out of my mouth. Mm. I really don't care about what you think. Swear I'm a commenter on YouTube. How what? I said you swear I'm a commenter on YouTube. I, was, I don't care what you think. That's because I'm not saying you're commenting on YouTube, but you're commenting on my food right now. I'm, no. I'm approaching you now. You said, what? Food came out of my mouth. And I said, what's new? I ain't say anything. Mm -hmm. I just said, what's new? You don't really have to say that. I'm just saying. You could have to yourself. I just said, what's new? Have you ever eaten a chicken bone or? No. I've seen people eat chicken bones. Like eat them? Mm hmm I don't know what that means. Like they do Chew it, it on purpose. Yeah. Okay, so that's gross. They said something about the bone marrow or something. That's gross. The benefits of it. The, the what? The benefits of eating the bone. Humans can't digest bones. It's that in the middle of the bone. Be, it will be coming out in your anal tract. I promise. Can you not talk about it on me? Well, I'm just there's something on your shirt too. And I promise it'll be. <clears throat> but you're talking some bone marrow Excuse and either bones. Humans can't digest that. Which brings me to my thing. Ticks. Um. You see how you just don't <clears throat> talk about this stuff while I'm eating? Yeah, because you eat until the end of the video. Mm-hmm. Oops, get it up. Um. And you're not. I'm finished. You tired? What time you go to bed? I was in my REM sleep, so I went when I went to bed at um at nine. Now what? At night? At night. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up at ten at, in the morning. Cause I was in my I don't know. I just I was catching up on my sleep from all those years. I mean, all all these months of school, without a break. I slept for like twelve hours, more than twelve hours, thir thirteen hours. Oh, when you had up and used the bathroom last night, you were just not going to bed. No. Huh? You woke up in the bed no uh, night. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You don't remember that? Mom, who was in our house? No, I didn't wake up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night. No, that was this morning. Yeah, this morning at 10. Mm. When I woke up. Mm. My goodness. Oh, you're thinking this in a, oh my gosh. You know what the scariest, like one of the most scariest things for me to think about? Blech. Sorry. It's if I like found, like let's say like you opened your attic and there was like a bed mm. and a pillow there and like a blanket. Oh my God, I'd scream. Oh, it's just when you, that's like, 
you find out that someone's been freeloading, someone's been living in your house. Like you, you notice you that. You've seen it like, on TV. Yeah, they're true stories. You notice that like your stuff is like placed differently where you put them, or like stuff in your refrigerator is like getting eaten. And you just assume that it's someone else in your family. Oh, no, not. It's and then you always ask, but they deny this. And no, I didn't do that. Mm. And you open the attic. And you find a bed and a pillow. Somebody will and die I, here. Like, right there in that moment, I'd be screaming. They're die here. What do you mean? Because somebody's always home. Well, how would that make them die? I don't know what that means. self starvation. Huh? They have die of starvation. Well, first of all, we do mukbangs every day, so I don't know we don't have much in our fridge. I know that. What I'm saying is... They'll die of starvation because they can't come in because we be here every day. Oh, they can't leave. They you're only, saying, they only come they down. Come out, yeah, yeah, they only come out when um somebody ain't home, right? Oh my gosh, that was like, what would you do? Like my heart would drop. Like just in the instance where I looked in my attic and there somebody was not no, but they're not there though. Like that's even more scary. Like they're not present. Like they're gone, and you just see like what they've been living in your attic. Or well, they die up there. No, I don't know about all that. If you're at the point where you're about to die, why? What would you sleep? do that? What would you do? What? If they die upstairs and they call and you had to call the police, I didn't know this person was living with me and they died. Did they die or did you murder them? I'd be moving to the nearest state. So you would leave that person dead body? I'd be moving to the nearest you state. You know you're guilty of this no, crime. No, I wouldn't leave. I would call the police, obviously, but, but I'd be moving to the nearest uh, no, state. No, and then you'll be in jail. I'd be le I'd be How do you explain that? Uh, I was, I don't know who that They'll believe is. me that they were, they were, um, in my attic. They was in your attic. They'll see how he died. Now, I didn't stab him. Well, you better hope it's from natural causes and he didn't <clears throat> poison himself. <laughs> anyway, ticks. Various. Uh, I didn't ask you about ticks. Did you know they stay on you? I don't know what the lady said. I wonder if she said a couple of days or something, but that's a long time. For they dead? For a tick. They stay on you for a couple of days, mom. For dead like, person? No one alive, people. And you can't get them all. Huh? Oh my god, let me give you the tea. So basically, what they do is um, they stick inside of you, right? A, a, a tick goes inside of a human. A tick goes inside of a human. A live right here. human. And they pinch. But you don't, you don't, they're so small you can't feel them. So they just sit there, right? And then one day you'll be, you'll be itching. And you'll try, Ugh, that's gross. Sorry. What they do, they have like layers you to their saw mouth. You saw a video. I did. They have layers to their mouth, right? So they, this one part opens like this, and then their mouth is exposed. And then inside of their mouth, this shoots these prongs out, right? And the prongs pry away your skin. So what they do is they like, they move away your skin. Like they just separate it like this. And then that opens up too. And then their little, their tongue comes out. And their tongue has teeth on it at the bottom, and it digs into your skin, right? And then they suck blood for days. They said a tick only needs to fill up once in its lifetime. It goes from the tiniest dot to literally, when I tell you, it would look like a grape. Because your, your blood is concentrated inside this tick. It looked like a grape. It was huge. Like, think of a, a purple grape. That's how big it got. And I screamed. I screamed. I screamed. I screamed. So, and then. Why? Bleh, and then. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't come do that. I can't show you it. Mm -hmm. It was just a little small grape. It was a small grape. And you screamed at a little small grape. I screamed. Oh my God. Like, can you. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine, like, just finding something on your arm and it's the size. Of, it wasn't a grape size. But, like, it was literally, I would say, half of a grape size. And it's a blood. It's your blood. It's a, And it's the color of a grape because it's your blood. Because it's your blood concentrated in this small You're talking grape. about the grape, the grape grapes. No, no. Yeah, it's, it's purple. Right. Because your blood is concentrated in this area. And I screamed. That's all I'm going to say. Now show me that picture. I see after you're done eating. I screamed. Anyway, for the video, they had this guy, like, they actually put a tick on this guy, and they showed, like, how it worked. And I said, who volunteered for that? Because it wouldn't have been me. We would have been showing a, a cartoon. Why would they do that? 
I don't know, but this guy's skin was on here like this. And I saw his hair is doing this. And I said, who volunteered to get to get their skin just... They must want to be paying them a lot of money. Oh my god, I screamed. And he had like, the thing, the tick had like hair on it. And I screamed. Like, bugs are so gross to me. Like, just in general. I've been watching like, like dust mites. I've been watching a lot of videos. About like household things that we just have in our household. And I knew this, but I didn't know like the science behind it. I knew that, did you know that dust was our skin? But like it didn't even make sense to me that how dust could be possibly be skin. Of course they said in the comments, no more nasty stuff during these videos. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Hey y'all. Now anyway, dust is our skin. Because we have so much like dead skin. Like every time, everything that we do, there's microscopic. Let's get you up. Okay. Oh my god, I was showing you the thing. <sighs> anyway. Skin is in the dust and yeah, yeah, and these dust mites they the reason why they are called dust mites is because they um They eat the dust which is our skin flakes and they have in I don't understand How ticks get on the body? I don't know They like warm substances. I know but we, we warm all the time and where are ticks at? Well, I don't get ticks. That's what I said. I don't know how I don't know who's gotten a tick on a human body, because I've never even thought of, like, of hearing that. I thought, like, oh, they just target dogs because dogs don't know any better. They can't just take showers. You know what I'm saying? Like, So, I mean, is a certain type of uh, body structure? I don't like? know, but the lady was talking about somehow their ticks were on humans, and I screamed. I screamed. I'm going to keep on saying that, but I did. I promise. And I'm about to show you. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would literally... Like, I, I don't know what I'd do if I found this creature, this, this creature on me. I'd scream. Like, I don't know how, like, much I could say that. I'm about to show you, Mom. Can you? No, not It's now. a little small. Okay, fine, I'll show them. Goodness. <clears throat> it's literally like a, like a grape. Like, I, like I'd scream. Don't look, Mom. Mm -mm. Like, I'd scream. But, anyway. Yep. So, I just want to know how it gets on there. Yeah, I just want to know how it gets on there. And with dust mites, they have um, enzymes in their stomach. Oh, that's just like um, lice. What's it, lice? What, that's in your hair? Lice and, um, what's that SCD? Crabs? It's, yeah, crabs. That's Why are they calling them crabs? Mm -hmm. I've never seen one and I don't want to see one. Mm -hmm. I've seen one on a Oh my winter. god, just imagine having bugs on your but genitalia. I why do crabs look like uh, uh, lice? Lice. They look like lice? They look, yeah. Don't well, probably because they're in, maybe it's the same thing, but Same family? Yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, that's um, one thing I know is I will go nuts if a bug was on me like that. And, and just hop it on me and, and embed it in my skin. Like, I've heard that you have to burn it. Like, it's a lot. What? A the, bed bug. A tick, if it's on um, you, you have to burn it. Mm. But that's like a myth, I heard. Because if it's, burn you, off you? If it's in you, because yeah, I heard you're supposed to burn ticks if they're on you. Like, you're supposed to burn them. I don't know. But I heard that's not good. So what you're supposed to do is take a, um, a tweezer and you stick it. Um, you grab their mouth, the throat, the tongue, and you have to rip it out of your skin. Because it's so deep in there. It's literally in deep inside of your skin. I'm sucking your blood. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And they're just on the surface like this. Saying, hey, for three days. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Three days. Like, I don't know if it's three days, but I remember, like, it was a, a day. Like, Do even more a come? day is a long time. I mean, is there a lot of them on there? No. Just one? Yeah, it's just one tick. They're just saying, if a tick is on you. Mm -hmm. And I was so confused as to how ticks got on humans. That's what I'm saying. How that's there's got to be a science behind that. How in the world do a human get a tick? They gotta be something. Yeah, but you don't find them. That's just like how do how do how do uh, people get bed bugs? Well, how that's does that different. happen? How does it happen? Where does it come from? They come up. They cling to your clothes. From where? They spread around the nation. Well, God, tell you, it'd be so easy to get tick bed bugs here. Yeah. Well, if you're at a place where there's bed bugs rampant, mm, I'm okay. assuming it is. I don't know what. I don't ever want to have bed bugs. 
lice oh my god or a uh, crab that, was, that had to be a nightmare because they said bed bugs you could never get that out of her it's now Molly didn't need it but one day she was in an apartment mm -hmm. no her mom used to live in this, these apartments and her um her mom's like neighbor got an infestation of bed bugs in an apartment yeah and the, and, and her mom's neighbors so she so her mom lives in an apartment and her mom's neighbors had bed bugs so melody was spending the night over her mom's house one time and she woke up and it was bites all over her leg in her apartment in her and she was in her mom's apartment then she had bites oh and, and she said oh they're probably just mosquito bites and, and malik this is before i was their friend and malik said no, no, no. Those don't look like mosquito bites to me. And Melody said, yes, they are. Yes, they are. So finally, after a couple days, she tells her mom, I've been having all these bites on me. And her mom said, no, not today. And she ran to Melody's room and peeled the corner. Oh, my God. No. That's it. No more. No more. Girl, you about got one with me. All different ages. And I screamed. I screamed. It was a lot of them? Yeah. There was eggs. Oh! There was humans. I mean, not humans, but adults. How did you not? She not know that though. I don't know, but she just didn't think that she would get them, being a neighbor. But she got them. I heard that's like it's, it's bad. It's, it's and she screamed. Mm -hmm. I think Malik had when he was in um when he used to live in Illinois. Oh. That's a nightmare. I heard that you gotta throw everything out. <coughs> um, one time they had bed bugs in your daddy's hospital. The hospital on the third floor from a man that was homeless. He got a CAT scan done, emergency CAT scan. Or something they had put him on a cat, the, oh God, the CAT scan machine. He had bed bugs and it infested the whole third floor. Spread it. That's gross. What did they do? Um, they had to clean the whole third floor of the hospital out, and they got rid of all these heaters. Yeah, because you got to... They gotta rented all these heaters and heated the third floor up until a big, huge, I don't know, over 100 degree temperature rate, and um, until they all burst. And then they did an infested... I don't know what you they mean they by cleaned. Burst. They had... That's they said. They burst. They... You had to really kill them by heat. They burst? Yeah. You guys kill like that's they how they explode? kill. Yeah. That's how they, they get you kill them. By heat. And then they cleaned it all up. I don't know if they burst. I ain't gonna say they burst burst, but they See, you cleaned, get they you. did. <clears throat> all I know is I'm not the one and I'm glad it's never happened to us. So. I know. Lexi had them. Everyone's had them except for me and Stephanie. Hmm. You never want something. Because it's not like you can So prevent them from coming. That's the same thing if you have lice. If you have lice, you have to, you have to get rid of everything in your house. Do you? Yeah. I thought lice can't live they can't live very long. Don't you? No. I think I think if you they have They don't live on hair? Yeah, they can't live very long off of a specimen, I think. So if you if they're not on somebody's scalp, I don't think they can live very long. Really? That's what I heard. Mm. So is it true that you actually have to pick each individual bug out? What? For lice. They said for lice you mm -hmm. have to, like, they're uh -huh. actually, they're uh -huh. like white bugs. With the, um... With tweezers. That's when gross. I was, look, when I owned the daycare, <clears throat> y'all... Oh, no, that'd be a nightmare. If someone yeah. ever kid had lice. Yes. I had to send them home. Yes. Absolutely. Because it was so highly contagious that... And you can just look, you can just park their hair and see all the stuff. So it doesn't look like dandruff. It little look like little dots. Black dots. Black? Mm hmm. I thought they were white. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Go type it in. It looked like little black, black little dots. Okay, Google. On their scalp. Cause touch to their scalp. Lice. I'm scared. I don't like looking up pictures like this. Okay, y'all, I'm done. I failed this challenge because I, I got more clothes They off. are white. More mashed potatoes, y'all. They I are white. Do it. They're white. I'm too full. They're white. Oh what? Oh my gosh, that's gross. No, look at it on people's head. Yeah, it's on her hair. It's white. Some of my black dot spots. You can see them eggs. 
Wait, so do they suck blood too? Is that what they do on your head? Like, what are they doing? What are they doing up there? Like on my scalp? Like, why are they there? They lay eggs. Yeah, that's gross. But I don't know if they suck blood. I don't know. I don't know the difference between now. I heard crabs lay uh, eggs. Um, they have uh, they suck blood and show dots of blood. Okay, Google. And they cling on to your uh, crabs. What you call them? Oop. Cling on to your follicles or your your hair. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I will I now that I will go crazy of a bug just clinging on it's to you and you can never let it go. I think it's I think they are the same thing. It's like it's pubic lice. Okay, Google. What pubis you mean, crab? Oh, I I'm can't sorry. say. That's a cube's life. Oh my god. Pubic lice. Let me go to Wick. But they're different shape. They're probably a cousin. Oh. That's gross. Infestation of bed bugs or lice or Ew, they can live in your chips. eyelashes. Oh crabs? Yes. Uh, they like thick hair. Blech. That's gross. Mm -hmm. But they like oily hair. Ew. I remember Kingdom Filing class order suborder. I love biology. Anyway. They like uh don't they like uh oily hair? That's what they like. I don't like that dry stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm full. That was good though. That was yum yum. Oh, yum. they have large claws. That's why they're called crabs. And they have thick legs. They look like, like crabs. That did not look like that's why I asked you. That do not look like no crab. Well, it's different than life. Not the crab legs I eat. Anyway, dust mites and um, and what are those things called? Those things that eat wood. You know what I'm talking about? Mites or no? I forgot what it's, they're called. Dust mites? No, not I just they eat wood. Oh, some of you guys are gonna my vomit. I would man. They eat wood. Termites. Termites. I said mites. I knew they had termites. Termites. There were mites in it. Termites and dust mites. I guess mite is like, um, they have similarities, but they, um. Mites, lights, mm -hmm. lights. It's what? lice. Lice, so. <laughs> lice, crabs. No, but that's, I think lice and crabs are the same family. But termites and, and, and dust mites. What about bed bugs? All of them in the same family. They all, they all they're family. All, well, to us, they're all gross, but that's not, you, you can't just say, oh, they all they're all in the same family. Now, bed bugs and, and, I don't know which ones um, suck blood, but I, I think crabs do. Crab, yeah. Um, so. Crabs do, they suck blood. Whatever, either way, um, they have, uh, dust mites and termites have enzymes in them that, help them digest weird things. So termites have enzymes in their stomach. Like they're actually other living like creatures. Like they're enzymes. Like they're like bacteria that live in their stomach that help them digest wood, which is like a like not many animals in nature at all can digest wood, which is a very hard substance to digest. So they um they have these enzymes in their stomach so when they eat the wood, they don't necessarily digest it, but these enzymes in their stomach, digest the wood and turn it to nu into nutrients for the for the the host. So oh. for the termite. And I wonder if it's dust mites or termites. One of the two, they're not born with it. So when you were born as a, I forget which one it is, either a termite or a, a dust mite. The mother will will feed the children the enzymes that she'll like like oh. like we have our you know breast milk or whatever right. that, that like you can give nutrients to, to your ch child that's what they do to their kids so that they they feed them their enzymes and their enzymes reproduce inside of them so they can eat wood or um and you can't it's hard to, it's really hard to digest skin too skin like we can't eat skin it won't work for us you mean human skin yeah like skin our flakes like if we eat them it, it just won't digest we don't have, we don't have, we, we can't digest skin, but they can because they have enzymes in their stomach. Oh, I see. To be able to digest it. That's what I do in my free time on YouTube instead of Yo. watching little things. Well, you need to, you, you have, oh, someone, have, you ever, have you ever watched what a fly does to your food? And when it's still laying yeah, on it? Yeah, they spit on it. 
they 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 regurgitate on and throw it up and then yeah because their saliva breaks it down probably for them that's gross yeah, i know and then they fly away and we always doing this oh well, well i don't know <laughs> no <laughs> well how we eating no i don't know if they do it right like i don't know if they land in something uh -huh. look at it oh have you i hate when look they, at, um if you look at the video you will see that I hate when so they every time you fly, do fly this. away, and it I gets hate on when they there. Do this. Yeah, cause that means they getting, they getting. That's they... gross to me. When that, like they're playing, like they're mischievous, and they're doing this. Ew, I hate that. Have you ever seen a fly up close to yeah. that? Yeah. Definitely with the two things, like they're doing this. I saw it one day when it was on your food when you walked away. Huh? Someone... Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I saw it one time when you walked away from your food. I'm just playing though. <sighs> but yeah. I wonder how true that is. Do they really throw up on your food? Right away. Okay, Google. Do flies throw up on your food? She's not going to be able to answer that. They throw up enzymes onto their food. Oh, my God. See? And he looks like he just landed there. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. They dissolve the food so up. they can make slurp it up. They, so in other words, they if a fly lands they, on your burger and wants it by, he or she will puke on it. That's what it says, don't it? Oh my god. You should let her read that. She probably did read it. Okay, Google. Do flies throw up on your food? According to Woman's Day, because flies can't chew, who knew? They have to throw up enzymes onto their food, which dissolves the food so they may slurp it up. So in other words, if a fly lands on your burger and wants a bite, he or she will puke on it. Ew! So that means as soon as they fly on it, I'm not eating nothing. If a fly flies on my uh food, that's a wrap for me. Oh, that's why I'm like eating outside. I'd scream. Cause you don't even know. You can't even see it with the human eye. Now you a lot. But You can't see it with the well, human you, eye. Yeah, you I guess you can't see that they puked on it. Really? Cause you when you see a fly, y'all you see the fly doing this. Oh my god, I hate that. Cause he be trying to, I'm finna sup up. I then threw up, now I'm finna go eat the food. <laughs> they are not preparing with this. Alright, let's eat. Right, let's eat. It's time to grow up. That's gross. Ew, bugs. Anyways, that's the end of this video, y'all. Cause I'm tired. I'm gonna get in the tub. And relax. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Like, All right, comment, yeah. subscribe, share the city with anyone and everyone. Let you know what your girl is doing over here with the fam bam. On this channel. On this channel. With the fam bam. With the fam bam. And we, uh, I, something about we'll see you oh guys my God. tomorrow. Wait, wait. You know what? One day I'm going to say I'm going to give you $100 if you get this right. What would you do? Get it right? You would go up there and study my um video. Mom, trust me. I can... I've been learning lines all my life. Now, <laughs> I want to know what this was. Mom, I've been learning lines all my life. Well, why do you put something behind your Mom, ear? What you put behind your ear, Darren? I've been learning lines all my life. It's all I need to know. <laughs> so if I really needed to, I could give you a monologue. So don't underestimate me. At any rate, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone, everyone. Know what your girl is doing on this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Don't forget to stay safe. Stay blessed. You don't say like, comment, and subscribe? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Do you really? Where? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Oh. I say it so fast and I've been saying it so yeah. many years. So many long times. You time. did a lot. <laughs> years. <laughs> I've been saying it so many years. So many decades. That... Just come, you just hear it, you know. You miss them, you miss Months. Them. Years. No, it's only been a year and uh, maybe two months. So what, still years? I'm going to years. Yeah, in a year, you'll be at two. Anyway, y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow in another video. <sighs> Peace. Peace.